everyone, welcome to another part of Car Dreams in Styrene Classic, where we have builds in full length, and this time I show you unreleased material from a beauty queen out of the 50s. Her name, Betsy Lee. What I wanted to do with that car was chopping the roof and make some fins on the back. The color I was not so sure about um, made it here as a suggestion red. After we cut out the frame from the sprue tree and all the other stuff we started with the frame and build the chassis. We wanted to lower the car a little bit so we load in front and on the back four scale inches. After we glued all those parts together, we were ready to actually mount it on the car. And uh, as you see, this is a perfect fit. And after glue dried, it's just like it would be an original part. So we started here with cutting the roof. It's always a good idea to take a tape, cut it in the right width, like in this case it was 5 scale inches, and then you mark where you want to cut it, and next thing is, you cut it out. When I cut out uh, those middle parts, I just make sure that I uh, leave always the lines still there and uh, go then with sanding paper to the actual measurement. If your pillars are not 100% straight, then of course now there's parts missing. That's why we had to cut the roof in several parts and fill up those gaps. Now it's time to cut the roof in six pieces. Hopefully we get that puzzle in the right order together again. Next step, I took a clamp so I could position it the way I wanted. And when I was happy with the position, I glued it together. I repeated the process with uh, other four parts as well and yeah here's our puzzle together again. I took some clamps to hold it to the right place and glued it on again. Of course, now all those gaps needed to fill up. I 
After 24 hours drying time, I was able to sand it down and then use some Bondo to go more, even more in detail. Next I started the cycle of using Bondo, wait until it's dry, send it down and when I find some spots where I'm still not happy with using some more Bondo and until I'm happy the way it turned out. Next is using a layer of thick paint, not just to get the scratches out but also see an even surface where not you still have humps or whatever. But since we not just wanted to chop the top but also make some fins, we took first some measurements and brought that on a carton and made first the fins out of carton the way we like it and then we brought it on actually styrene. Since our first attempt looked a little bit too much like Batman and Robin, we had to cut it down a little bit, but finally we figured something that we were happy with. Now we bring that whole carton template on styrene and try to make it three-dimensional. After some test fitting, we actually liked the way they turned out. They were not too crazy, but they give uh, the model that special it. Now it's time to actually glue them on the model and see as a last result how they actually turned out. Before we actually could paint it, we had to sand the whole body down with 800 grit. Time to glue in the rear fender skirts. And give the panel lines a wash. So first the whole body was painted in silver. And part of this custom paint job that I uh, wanted to achieve was taping the whole body where I wanted to have the silver lines and after I was happy the way the taping turned out I used some candy blue to go over the whole car. And that's how we ended up with our Betsy Lee. After we finished the body, we were ready to take care on the motor. And since the motor is the heart of our beauty, we made sure that it's a good one. We 
want to continue the blue line on the motor as well. So first we painted the motor in blue and next was putting in the wires for the ignition. After everything was glued in place, time to mount the heads on the motor block. We wanted the heart of our woman really shiny, that's why a lot of parts uh, still would be in chrome. Yeah, we made sure that the motor had a lot of details like this little ignition coil. Decals always give a little extra that you just can't achieve by just painting parts. This motor has three carburetors and like the saying is, she had a heart of gold, we made them in gold. Finally, we finished our motor. The color blue is a common thread in this build, so of course we try to continue that blue in the interior as well. I detailed the radio and I used some tape to not mess up the rest of the dashboard. I 
I added the decals for the decometer. I really like the contrast that that blue and white has and I think it fits just perfectly to the whole common thread of the car. Last step in this segment was gluing on the wheels and then we had the finished build. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this new segment on the show where we every first Thursday of a month we show a different build without any special things, just a pure build. And all I, it's left to say to me for me is God bless you all. Happy modeling. Mm -hmm.